Hello, welcome back to Bento Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, we're gonna learn uh, how you can do um, some kind of uh, accumulative um, effect using animation nodes. So this is probably gonna be some kind of uh, another introduction to algorithm. So this was actually based on this example node set up by Omar uh, Squirrel, uh, Squirrel uh, his website is. And he gave me this example to study. It's how you can use some kind of algorithm to create this kind of pipe uh, structure. I'm, this is probably something that I will break down in, in the next live noting, but not today. But from here, I actually try to set up the whole thing from scratch. And I learned something very, very important that you can apparently uh, kind of use uh, some kind of looping in animation nodes. Uh, I mean, looping and accumulations. Looping is uh, something you already know. So let's just get started and turn off always. We just want to calculate when we update uh, the node tree. So I'm going to save this as an accumulative demo. So this uh, actually um, kind of really important. So if we want to make a loop, in animation nodes, we can use this. Uh, I usually start with a loop, uh, loop input. I start from this node, so the node seems kind of uh, a little bit strange. Maybe if you never use it, but it's not actually that um, complicated. We know that with the loop, you can uh, you can do something like this. Like uh, if you generate like a random number, maybe between zero and ten, and you set it as a list and you say okay maybe you want 10 10 random numbers okay you normally maybe use loop like this way so this is like a 10 random number floating number you see there's a decimal and you probably want to loop over this number so normally the way i do it you have a bunch of numbers here and you tap w to the loop and you say perhaps you can say like um, multiply each number with two and as an output you want like float list as an output you get that and what's gonna happen here is uh, this is 10 random number and this is the number and if you put this through the loop and multiply it by two you're gonna get a result something like something like this you see 3 times 2, 7 times 2, 1 times 2. So this is like a multiplied by 2. You can increase this and then do all kind of things inside the loop. So that's it. that's in itself is a some kind of loop. So for each number in the list, just multiply it by 2. That's one way you can think of it. But with what I want to show you today, we're going to use loop for a different thing. So again, I start with uh, this loop input, okay, and uh, I'll start with a number. Um, the number, I will put it not in the iterator, I'm going to put it here. So this is a float, just a single number, not a list. So a single number, and this is going to be starting number. Okay, and then I create the actual loop node. So this is the mechanics of the loop, and this is the actual nodes. Starting number can be anything. Uh, this is a floating number. I can say starting number is zero or five, and then inside the loop, I can say, okay, uh, use some kind of math, float math, starting number, and maybe multiply it with two. And as a result, you're gonna get a uh, list. Normally, result is always uh, a list. Okay, so starting number multiplied by 2. And let's have a look at the result. Um, we get 0 because 5 times. Actually, we need to iterate it at least one time. Okay, so starting number is 5. Multiply by 2, we get 10. If we do this 5 times, we get 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So we have 5 lists of 10. 
So that's fine. It's like uh, you are multiplying a single number five times and you get this 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, so that's fine. But that's not kind of not very useful, right? What if you want to do it this way? You start with number five and you multiply it by two and then result of this, you want to multiply it again by two and the result you want to multiply it again by two and so on and so on. How do you go about doing that? Apparently you can do that using animation nodes and that's actually pretty simple. It's just a little bit hidden but basically you can do that. You kind of like a starting number is five multiplied by two and this result you can kind of uh, kind of loop it back. Now this become very very um, important and very powerful yeah you, it's gonna create some kind of accumulative effects and you can enable it down here advanced node settings and this is something that I saw a couple of times but I I wasn't too uh, I didn't pay much attention until today and this is actually pretty powerful so in order to put the result, the first result, and then do it multiple times in iterations, you select the loop input, and then you reassign. You see this starting number, this guy right here? You want to reassign it. So you click here, you get a new, some kind of uh, input. If you pipe this guy in there, you can see now, we get the, some kind of accumulative effects. This is very, very, very important. And you actually want this somehow uh, for uh, to do some kind of algorithm study. So in this case, five times two, 10, and then 10 times two, 20, 20, 40, and then so on and so on. So you can start with two, and then you iterate it like 20 times, and you get this number. Um, there's like a s famous uh, famous story um, about a guy who asked uh, how he wants to get paid like multiply every single day so he didn't say I want to get paid uh, like a uh, hundred dollars every day but he wants he said he wants to get paid multiplied by two every every day and after so many days he actually reached a level where uh, I don't know I think probably I didn't say it properly but um, that's actually kind of the story here pretty much so this is after after only five, 25 days this is how much the person get paid he if he say like 100 days you see the number gets really really big that's kind of a the idea here is like the, the algorithm. So based on this knowledge, right, we can we can try something different. So instead of starting number here, we're gonna start with a starting vector. So here I'm gonna create a new parameter. It's gonna be a single value vector, vector positions x, y, z. So three value there. This is gonna be starting point starting point, starting position, or starting location, the same thing. It's gonna be zero, zero, zero. And we're gonna do a random walk using um, animation nodes. I've done this using Sphere Chop, using so many different ways. This is using animation nodes, and this is kind of fun. And let's say we have a starting point, and then for the next point, we're gonna kind of accumulate points we can create random number here so random number these guys we are gonna pipe in the index into the seed so for each iterations this gonna generate a new number actually we don't want number sorry it should be a random vector okay not a, not a number a vector so index goes into the seed so for each iterations this will generate a new vector and we want to use vector ma and add the number together. So from the starting points, 
goes in there and then random vector goes in there and that's gonna accumulate and it's gonna create a result if you look at the using a 3d viewer the result of the points will be uh, this starting points oh the result okay there is we need to output the result so vector release is gonna be the result the result of these two vector is this vector list and you can see here starting point and then this is a random vector not particularly interesting right because it's just as zero 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 plus random number but if you use the accumulative thing uh, select the loop input go down here and find our vector reassign and plug this guy into there oops it's gonna you're gonna see something quite interesting happening so now we start to see that uh, the points keep generating it's keep kind of traveling and it's uh, going to travel in a random fashion and this is actually very very interesting so let's say we only have like 100 steps 100 iterations and you can see this result as a point as a point it's not very interesting but spline from points will be a little bit more interesting so this vector list goes in there and the result can become a curve object spline and create the objects now you have a curve and we just need to add a bevel depth so now we have a true um, random walk so you might have seen this example in a lot of uh, programming course it's actually a uh, very very interesting so this is um, 1000 iterations or 1000 step of random walk based on this uh, random vector being generated for each iterations and you can randomize the seed and get a different result and random walks tend to be pretty random if you want if you use noise you're gonna get a better more interesting result you can use wiggle for now we got but we actually have noise noise node and this is actually in the in the incoming animation nodes version 2.1 maybe anyway i'm not gonna use this for now so with the spline if you want to have like a more smooth kind of line you can you can actually do that simply by using smooth smooth bezier will smooth your bezier and you get a more smooth result okay so there you go that's 1000 steps and you can still kind of offset the lines uh, offset the starting points and let's reduce this to 100 we can scale the random vector you can randomize the noise and you're gonna get different result each time so there you go that's a that's a random walk using animation nodes oops I think I lost it there you go we we just create some kind of algorithm albeit is a it's a super simple one but here I really want to teach this uh, this idea of reassigning the value from here so we don't actually need the output the output is actually the final the final uh, number so yeah I think this is very important concept and very very uh, very interesting as well so if you want ever to want to start thinking about algorithm and how you can iterate the value and continue using the last value um, after the iterations then this is how you do it the most basic example I could think of and thanks again Omar Square, Squ Squircle um, Art uh, for the example and I will try to do this pipe explain the pipe at some point maybe but Omar can make article as well for this um, yeah so that's pretty much it. Thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you.